Next, we will discuss about the high pass filter. First, we can take as it is the input signal A in dB. So, A and Fc, this is the input. What happens to the output portion? We have cutoff frequency lesser than value. We are usually calling as a low frequency area. And above the cutoff frequency, we are calling as a high frequency area. So, low frequency area is stopping or blocking in the high pass filter. So, we are calling this one stop band and high pass area it is passing so it is pass band just opposite of the low pass filter we are getting here so this is known as your ideal response and in high pass filter already in the low pass we discuss capacitor will allow the high frequency and block the low frequency so that reason we will usually take capacitor to the first then resistor this portion is known as high frequency or high pass filter. In the low pass usually we will take first resistor then capacitor and capacitor connected to ground. Here it is opposite. Capacitor we are taking and resistor is connected to ground. This is the major changes in the circuitry. Next we will move on the actual response of the circuit. In this the cutoff frequency is such a way that already I told the this portion we can card as a gain and this gain portion 3 dB variation we are taking as a this is 3 dB variation one more gain portion this gain portion it is 0.707 of the your gain so this portion where exactly reaches that one is FC so we can take anywhere here and it coming from this like that and it is going like this and coming like this what is actually going on here this is the slope it is nothing but we can call as a roll off rate. So, usually we are getting as a this portion is pass band. Okay. And in between this portion here, we are calling this one as a transition region or transition portion. And another portion usually it is stop band. So, in the actual response, we usually have three regions stop band region, transition region and pass band region. Pass band means whichever after the cutoff frequency passing and before cutoff frequency stop band. But in the transition region here depending upon the which order filter that much ratio of the roll off rate we have. So we have some equation we can discuss. One is first we can call as a pass band. The pass band in the high pass filter we can say that greater than FC value will pass and lesser than FC value is stop band. So, second stop band we can call lesser than FC and third one we can call about transition region. So, transition region it is in between this pass band and stop band it will take some time to the fix between stop to pass. This region usually known as transition region. This slope is usually depend upon either first order or second order. So, this portion we are calling as a roll off rate. So, here if you it is first order we will get minus 20 dB per decade same as a what we discuss in low pass and if it is second order it is minus 40 dB per decade. So, fourth one we will go with the FC. The interesting thing is the cutoff frequency equation whatever in the low pass same in the high pass also. So, 1 divided by 2 pi RC there is nothing changes. When you go to the gain portion also, it is remains same here. That is nothing but we are using non-inverting amplifier. So, 1 plus RF divided by R1, it is also remains same. Next, we will discuss about active filter design first order HPF. This is actual uh, nothing but we are using filter circuit as usual amplifier circuit. How we are discussed in the low pass filter. The simple similar circuit we can take that is positive negative and here resistance R1 is there and RF is there. So, it is connected to the V0 and anyway we can take plus VCC and minus VE. In this filter usually RL and RP you can ignore it. The only 
the major changes here the filtering portion so here we are taken resistance first then capacitor here it is vice versa so capacitance first then resistance connected to ground anyway this is also connected to ground because it is non invert so here we are giving vi to this post so this circuit we can call this one is c and r and already i told that filter design whatever we have in the low pass exactly same in the high pass filter the only major difference is this capacitor and resistance here and here resistance capacitance there is no design changes and when you going with the waveform it is changes so when you go with the waveform you are writing something opposite to the low pass so something like this okay here we are taken first it is passing then it is coming back here first it is not passing then going up and then passing so that is the major difference what we have okay so this is all about the first order filter so i am not going with the design part because it is as similar to the low pass and here also butterworth filter is nothing but 1.56 volt so we can move on the second order so i think you people can write your own circuit yourself so whatever we are written in the low pass similar way you can do it in the high pass so when you go to the circuit portion here ra rb and ca cb is interchange so instead of ra write ca and instead of rb write cb okay instead of ca write ra and instead of cb write rb okay so other portions are same here so we have positive negative and v not and connected to the negative connected to the rf and of course we have r1 connected to ground if you write r1 this side or here both are same okay so uh, what actually we have to do here ca is connected to v not similar way ra is connected to the v not okay and second thing rb is connected to ground and cb rb junction is connected to positive and anyway this is the v in or vi so uh, the circuit diagram only the changes is these portions this is nothing but we called as a filter and this is second r so all the other stuff the design portion same that means here also fc 1 divided by 2 pi rc same or you can write 1 divided by 2 pi root r ya rb c a c b everything same okay so there is nothing difference in the design portion and you can go with the waveform so you can write waveform the opposite way so you have to write as a something like this always remember this roll of rate you have to mention so in this roll of rate we have here minus 40 db that is the difference between first order and second order okay here we will get some fc this is nothing but minus 3 db a value okay and here somewhere we have here is nothing but this portion is pass band this portion is stop band the middle slope portion is transition band this is all about the high pass filter how it is working so we have discussed actually the five thing here listen carefully first thing first order low pass filter second order low pass filter first order high pass filter second order high pass filter all this using butterworth filter so uh, first order and second order anywhere difference means one capacitor one resistor is first order two capacitor two resistor is second order and minus 20 db roll off rate in first order and minus 40 db in the second order in the low pass first resistor then capacitor is connected ground or next capacitor in the high pass ulta first capacitor then the resistor and uh, the signal is in low pass low frequency is pass high pass high frequency is pass and design is absolutely same there is no difference in the first order or second order or low pass or high pass everywhere the frequency remains same that is fc is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi rc remains same and the gain value also remains same everywhere we are using non inverter circuit only next we will discuss about band pass filter band pass filter is nothing but some particular area of the frequency we are passing band pass filter is nothing but combination of low pass and high pass. how it is we can look here see first i will take as a idle response of the low pass filter we know that if you take this portion as a fc so first portion lower part is passing and higher portion is not so this is your pass band 
this is your stop band this is what we are calling as a low pass filter similar way if you are going for the high pass filter as a idle response so in the cut off frequency after cut off frequency it is passing and this portion is stop band so if you combine this low pass and high pass usually what happen first i will write low pass filter then in the same portion i will write high pass so first you will take one fc so we'll call fc1 so in this this is pass band then we have stop band okay this is the your low pass filter same thing i will write in the hpf so it is stop band then okay uh, we have one more we call fc2 after this there is a pass okay this diagram if you take this is gain and this is frequency this diagram is nothing but band pass filter this diagram is nothing but band reject field so why we are calling this one as a band reject some particular area here we are reject all other portion we are pass so this is nothing but band reject or band stop field so how to write band pass filter just opposite first you have to take as a high pass then we are taking as a low pass how it look like take same diagram here so this is the frequency and this one so first we will take high pass okay so first hpf then lpf so what happens hpf is stop band so this is your fc1 stop band then pass band okay stop band and pass then we will take as a our low pass filter so low pass filter is first pass band so we'll take one more frequency like fc2 and again it is pass band and after that it is stop band so listen carefully this one the band pass and band stop filter is nothing but combination of low pass and high pass so in the band pass filter we are taking first portion is like hpf so this one we can card as a our hpf and this portion we can card as a our lpf so see this is the same as lpf this is same as hpf so first hpf then lpf usually known as band pass because when after looking this one see particular band is passing so other portion is not passing or it is stopping so this known as band pass filter and this opposite is band stop so in this band stop first we are using low pass filter then we are using high pass filter so first we'll move on what is this band pass filter structure we will give in band pass filter structure we have two cut off frequency one is fc1 cut off frequency another one is fc2 cut off frequency similar way in the band stop also we have fc1 and fc2 two cut off frequency this all diagram are ideal response if you want to represent in actual response so you can write directly your circuit something like that so uh, we are talking about band pass filter so i am only here go with the band pass filter so you can take this is the gain this is the frequency so uh, in this only pass band so this portion will take something like that then like this then like okay this is known as pass band so here we have to take as a some 3 db minus 3 db a so uh, this portion is fc1 and this portion is fc2 this is the actual response of the your band pass filter and what is the this roll off rate there is a two roll off rate we have this first roll off rate and second roll off rate depending upon these filters if it is first order it is minus 20 db if it is second order as usual minus 40 db so we'll go with the block diagram of active band pass filter so band pass filter diagram we can easily says that first we have here high pass filter so take the high pass filter circuit first okay then the output of the high pass filter give to the low pass filter okay so when you give like this whatever output you are getting this is known as band pass filter so this is vi how we are shown here first high pass then low pass so uh, write down the circuit diagram of high pass filter first high pass filter we know that first we are writing as a v in then we have high pass filter means capacitor is first then we have resistor ra you can write ca similar way cb okay and rb okay then 
we have here positive and negative so this is connected to ground and v0 is connected to ra and negative we have one is r1 is connected to ground and rf is connected to the output portion this is the high pass filter operation similar way we have to do low pass low pass what happens instead of capacitor first we have resistor so take resistor here a1 ra uh, here ra rb over so you can take ra2 rb2 okay so i am calling ra2 here you can take ra1 rb ca1 cb1 because we are using two type of resistor and capacitor so just name it like that then we have capacitor we will call as a ca2 similar way we have one more resistor rb2 and we have one more capacitor cb2 okay and after this we are going with same operation of op amp so this is the plus terminal negative is connected to one more resistor grounded this is here we have called as r1 you can call r2 and anyway rf is connected to output side and this ca2 is connected to output side cb is grounded this is the total diagram of the band pass so nothing new here first you have to write high pass filter as it is circuit then connect output to the low pass filter very easiest circuit of the band pass when you going for the design here you have to design two things one is fc1 another one is fc2 when you designing fc1 you have to go with the high pass filter listen carefully here i am talking about ca1 cb1 ra1 rb1 we have to take so your formula is 1 divided by 2 pi root ra 1 rb1 ca1 cb1 okay this is the formula for fc1 fc1 means first this portion similar way fc2 means 1 divided by 2 pi root of everything is to ra2 rb2 and ca2 cb2 here whatever name you will give and fc2 you have to take from this area okay and fc1 you have to take from this area okay now the very important is gain gain usually what happen if you take here uh, amplifier series connection okay here also we have one amplifier here also amplifier if it is series amplifier usually what happens if you take one amplifier here then again amplifier connected here suppose assume that you are giving here two volt this amplifier having five gain again this amplifier having five gain what is the output usually will get this v not we will call v not 1 so it is nothing but gain into input so 5 into 2 we will get as a 10 volt again for v not 2 you can write equation as a a into v not 1 because for v not 2 input is v not 1 so it is nothing but a into v not 1 so we will get as a something like 5 into 10 answer is 50 so for v over 2 we can write equation here v over 2 is equal to nothing but we can call this one as a a this one as a a1 so what happens a2 into v over 1 now question is what is v over 1 v over 2 is equal to a2 into v over 1 is nothing but a1 into we can call vi or v1 okay so a1 into vi so the formula of v not listen carefully we have to take two gain multiplication then vi so here total gain is multiplication of this so whatever you will getting as a this one you can call rf1 this is you can call rf2 so total gain if i if you want you can take as a total gain is equal to the first gain is 1 plus rf1 by r1 this is multiplying with the 1 plus rf2 divided by r this is the very important formula for the gain so we are designing two things frequency and gain one more designing is possible that is band so band width is nothing but how many pass band area so if you see here this is passing in between fc1 and fc2 so if you want this area we can find out from fc2 minus fc1 so nothing but that is the bandwidth so fc2 minus fc1 is a bandwidth of the your band pass filter